just you know it is anybody in there. The, the flat upstairs is empty, but how can you move back? Move back? Can it just? Mr. Alaher. I think we should get you checked over by the medics. Oh, I'm fine. All right, I'm fine. I'm just, just a bit, bit shaken. That's... <laughs> how, how can that happen? How can a, a shop just explode like that? I don't know. We'll know more when the fire's out. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. It's just a shock of uh, seeing my shop like this. I'm all right. I just, I just need to sit just for a bit. Right where I sit. Yeah. Get out. Get out, get out, take your children with you, get out! Just around the corner, Verinda. The flames everywhere! Why did the fire Just stay calm. Just stay calm. You stay away from the fire. Now, Verinda, listen to your children. The children, they're with you. Yes! Yes! I'm scared, Dad! Oh, look! Everything's in the flower! It's gonna be OK. I promise you it's gonna be OK. Stay with your mummy and everything's good. You hear the sirens? You hear sirens? This is the, the fire engines, and you see the firemen, and everything is going to be all right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. 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 You just stole 999. I'm on my way. Verinda, I've got to go. No. You can't just leave us. Listen no, to me. Listen. I don't know what's going on, but he has to be oh, in flames. I have got please. to go. Dad! Yes? Mr. Alan, is that you? Who is this? It's Dave here. Uh, from the fishery and anchors. Not to your shop. Oh, God. Uh, would you mind coming over? The alarm's gone off. Oh, my God. It, it's just gone completely. Mr. Alahan, your shop's just exploded. <laughs> Come on. Come on, pick up the phone. So need to die and just, just pick up the phone. Sunita, are you there? Sunita, is that you? Just, just just pick up the phone. Just pick up the phone. Sunita! Sunita! What's going on? Hello, Dad. 
death. What are you doing? To she can't come to the phone right now. She's a bit tied up. Her uh, alone. <laughs> I'm sure we can sort all this out. Maya. I swear to God. Come home, Dad. Now, on your own. If you touch a single hair on her head. No, I mean, on your own. Come alone and we can sort it out. Tell the police. And I'll kill her. What do you think he'll do? <laughs> Come alone or call the police. <sighs> Come on, Mrs. Allahan, you must know him better than anybody. What? Oh, please, oh. Maya, why are you doing this? <laughs> oh, Come alone. He's arrogant and conceited enough to think he's the knight in shining armor, the Bollywood hero. Don't you think? <laughs> we never meant to hurt you. Didn't we? No! That's a pity. <laughs> Because I'm going to let you into a little secret. <laughs> I mean to hurt you. However he turns up tonight. Whatever he does. You've got no choice. <laughs> what, no photos of the arrest? The best part of the whole thing and no one recorded it for posterity. You destroyed the wedding. Completely ruined the biggest, happiest day of my life. Isn't that enough for you? I thought it would be. If you want to hurt us, then you've done it. We'll never get that day back again. It's gone forever. Not according to this. <laughs> that only tells half the story. It's a lie. Everybody knows it. Maya, you've had your revenge. There's no need for any of this now. I was so excited I couldn't sleep when I thought it all up, you know. One minute I'm all alone in the dark, crying into my pillow. Here I am again. Why does it always end like this? Wallow, wallow, wallow. Next minute it's dawn. And I can't stop laughing. A little... Loyal, <laughs> lapdog, Sunita. Not just unfaithful, but married. <gasps> Not just once, but seven times. A husband for every shop, every shop in the tin pot empire, you know? How an idea just grows sometimes. Well, at first it was only a fantasy, but in the end, in the end I couldn't resist. Just for once I wanted the last laugh. And you got it. We were humiliated, completely humiliated. Ah, the look on your face. In front of all our family and friends. Please, Maya, why can't we just leave it at that? Because you're still Mrs. Allahan! You're on your honeymoon. I'm on bail, facing two years inside. You'll get more for this than that, a lot more. Yeah, if they catch me. Please, Maya, just let me go and we'll forget all about it. Whatever you're going to do, you can't hurt me more than you did on my wedding day. Do you really believe that? Yes. You have absolutely no imagination whatsoever, have you? Maya, you just make... You're me... such a dim-witted, dreary little drudge. I used to wonder what he saw in you. You're just making things worse for yourself. Of course, when you think about it, it's obvious. He married you precisely because you're a dim, witted, dreary little drudge. I'd have been a challenge. I'd have kept him on his toes. I'm his equal, you see. You're not fit to lick his boots. Oh, but you are. <sighs> and you were too, wouldn't you? Because mm. in the end, you're just an employee, and that's all you'll ever be. I'm his wife! <laughs> And hasn't he arranged his marriage to perfection? I can see it all. You'll shell out kids for him like you shell out change. You'll cook and clean and skivvy for him, serve in shops for him, do everything he tells you to do, and all for free. Now you're his wife. And one day, he'll get bored and look elsewhere. That's your future. And you rot in jail. My jail's better than yours. You wouldn't be here if you thought that. 
You're jealous. You want him and you can't have him because he loves me. He loves me and he always will, so deal with it! Because you're a little bit slow, Sunita, I'm going to give you a big tip. Cowering, uh, snivelling, keeping your voice down, blending into the background, all the things Dev likes most about you. They're the things to do in this situation. Uh, think submissive, play to your strengths, because if you raise your voice to me again, I'll raise Ganesh to you. And he's very, very heavy. And it'd be a pity to be beaten to death by the god of good fortune before Dev's had the chance to save you. <laughs> he loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. And he really is that fickle, you know. One minute he's burning with passion. Next minute he's with someone else. <laughs> If Dev had sent them, they'd have broken in by now. It's a routine visit, don't worry. I'll be investigating the fires and he'll be looking for the owner, that's all. No one stick around, it's a busy night. Go away, little man. Go on, the shop's empty, there's nothing happening. It's all quiet here, go away. I'm expecting company soon, go on. Go on, off you go. That's it, little man. Goodbye. They're gone.
Is she okay? Mm -hmm. is it, baby? Is it... I wonder if he'll recognize these when he wakes up. We had many a night playing with them. I don't suppose you two go in for games much, do you? No, of course not, because you're a dim-witted, unimaginative, dreary little drudge. Oh, dear. I think I might have fractured your husband's skull, Mrs. Allan. Still, if uh, he wakes up with a headache, brain tumor girl will know what to do, won't you? <coughs> <coughs> I don't know how you did this. I used to be a solicitor. Oh. I've got friends in very low places. But however you did it, the police will find out. They'll know. Everyone will know. Beats cutting up your clothes, don't you think? When all your other exes hear about it, they'll be kicking themselves they didn't think of it first. No, they won't. Because they're not mad and this is madness. Now, you can't get away with this. We'll see. Let her go. Let's need to go. Why? Please. Isn't that how you like her? Mouth shut, chain to the cooker. You know I'm not like that. Then I fail to see how you could choose her over me. Look, I'm sorry. Her over me. Her. That over me! Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no, 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 I know I, I've hurt you, and I am sorry, so can't we just keep calm and we can talk about this, please? You're pathetic. I don't know what I ever saw in you. Don't worry. It'll be okay. <laughs> Maya, just listen to me. You need help. She needs help. <clears throat> She's the damsel in distress. What I mean is... Uh, and you're supposed to be the knight in shining armor, and you're not much good at it, are you? <laughs> you come storming in, you're all on your own, just like we knew you would, and bam! All over. Thank you and good night. The police are on their way. They've been. They've gone. Sorry. No, I rang them. They're going to be here any minute. If that were true, you wouldn't be telling me now. It's true. And if you let us go, and when they get here, I'll explain how this is all my fault, how much I've hurt you. You're not responsible for your actions. And uh, we don't have to mention anything about the kidnapping. We don't have to mention anything about this, and I'll talk to them, and I'll tell Can them I stop you there? Yeah, yeah. I don't do plea bargains, especially not when I'm the one holding all the cards. Maya, this is madness! And no pleas of insanity, either. Wanting revenge. Wanting to get your own back on the man who destroyed your life! That's not insanity! You've had your revenge ten times over! You ruined my wedding, you got me arrested, you sent Anita to jail! You got me scared half to death, I've got shops in flames all over the city! Now isn't that enough? Not... Yet! Now, please, Maya. I am begging. <laughs> Just see sense. Now, you can't get away with this. And you are destroying your life as well as ours. You pursued me. I know, and I'm sorry. I wanted nothing to do with you. I was happy. And you put on those stupid... <laughs> Michael Caine glasses. And you pursued me, broke me down, made me think it could work. I thought it could. You promised me you were different. Oh. You asked me to live with you. You got engaged to me, you told me you loved me, we were getting married, and then Sunita gets a headache and I'm history. None of it was planned. <laughs> Baby, I just did what I thought was right at the time. And what 
did she have that I didn't? A brain tumor? It's not love. It's Munchausen's by proxy. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. No, I loved her long before I knew she was ill. I know. I know you did. <laughs> and I won't lie. I just didn't realize. You proposed to her before we even met. <laughs> you swore, <laughs> swore to me that there was no reason to be jealous of her, but still you pursued me. Still, you went ahead and got engaged to me! But I wasn't lying to you. I was lying to myself. That's all I could say. I was lying to myself, and I'm sorry. When I tried to get you done for sexual harassment, you wriggled out of it and left me looking stupid. When I tried to stop you two getting married, you wriggled out of it and left me looking at two years in jail, so no. <laughs> it's not enough. Not nearly enough. Not yet. This time you won't wriggle out of it. Are you sure he said there was no light on? Yeah. When was this? About half an hour ago. There's one on now. Hang on a minute. That was quick. You know me. Uh. No one lives there anymore, mate. There's a light on. <laughs> yeah, just because there's a light on doesn't mean anyone's at home. <laughs> is that the police? Yes, it is. PC Glaister. Who's this, please? Oh, sorry to keep you waiting. I've been on the phone. We're in the middle of the process, as you probably know. Who am I speaking to, please? Sunita. Sunita Alahan. I'm looking for Devendra oh. Alahan. That's my husband. But he's not here at the moment. Do you know where he is? Well, he could be at any one of the other shops or... Any point in between? It's been a bit of a hectic night. I need to ask you a few questions, Mrs. Alahan, if you don't mind. Hang on. I'll be down in a minute. Give them to me or I'll break your fingers, you little bitch. <laughs> he's not at the home number we've got for him and he's not answering his mobile. Well, I think I can help you there. Um, first, you got a call from Eccles, then Swinton went up, and I think it was Ashton and Coates. It's been such a nightmare. We didn't know if we were coming or going. He's been on his mobile so much, his battery ran down. He was calling from a phone box when you arrived. Did he say where he was heading? Uh, Salford, I think. Uh, oh, was it back to Ashton? I'm not sure. It's all been so chaotic. I think I might have met him earlier. Might have. Well, I met a man who claimed to be him. You don't carry a picture of him by any chance, do you? Uh, oh, yes, I think I do. Can I see it? <laughs> Is that the man you spoke to? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Has he got any enemies? Business rivals, but no one who'd go this far that I know of. No problems with racism? Not particularly. How's trade been like? Good, I think. Why, what are you suggesting? Nothing. 
Look, everything seems fine now, as far as I can see. Well, they won't come now, not while I'm here to keep an eye on the place. Actually, I think I'll stick around too. Uh, well, there's no need for that. Uh, the last fire was a couple of hours ago. I'm sure they'd have been and gone by now if they were coming. Even so, I don't think you should be on your own. I'll be all right. Well, I'll hang around in the car for a while, just until we're sure they've given up for the night. Or your husband comes back. Oh, that's very good of you. Thanks very much. I'm afraid. <laughs> but normal service will be resumed as soon as possible. You can struggle as much as you like, but uh, unfortunately you're in a bit of an awkward position. You see, this is a very sturdy, built-in cooker. But the beauty of the whole thing is that even if you manage to pull it away from the wall, It'll only make the gas come out quicker. I have to stay and watch Sunita, but I've got to go, I'm afraid. Don't break a nail now. This is it, Dev. The seventh fire in the seventh shop. <clears throat> if you believe in reincarnation, maybe next time you'll come back as something better. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Nearly forgot. You don't mind if I take this with me, do you? See ya. Wouldn't want to be a... <laughs> You're out early. We're out late. We're only just getting back. <laughs> I don't know where you get the energy. <laughs> she won't like it. I don't care. Oh, I bet you've been to a few all nighters in your time, Rita. <laughs> no comment. My lips are sealed. Is that smoke? What? In the shop. Is that smoke? My God, I think it is. It's on fire. Oh, oh there's someone in the flat. I'll go and ring for a fire brigade. In there, it's all locked up. Sally, get out! There's a fire in the shop! Quick, it's spreading! Kieran, there's someone up there! Fire Has anybody called a fire again? We're already done, mate. Get out, quick! There's a fire in the corner!
corner shop. Quick, get it. Quick, spread. Quick, quick, quick. There was a fire. There. Quick, oh, come my away. God. Oh, come away. Come oh. away. Hey, come on, <laughs> Get back. Devon, Sinead, are in there. Norris, get back. We can't just leave them, can we? Where's Charlie? Where's Charlie? Where's Charlie? He's still inside. He's got sneakers. 